Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. Happy Sunday to you from just outside Houston, Texas, home of the space program. Prepare yourself for this fully armed and operational McDonald's. You just gotta love McDonald's. Even astronauts in space love McDonald's. When they're out there, you think they would be using Tang or some sort of inanimate object that fluctuates into an edible source up in space. Gravity free, but not fries free. Who needs Tang when you have delicious fries right there, fries? That astronaut loves him some fries. It's my second channel, daily blog channel. Whoa, he's in attack mode. He's gonna leap on my back, kind of like Gollum. It's the attack of the astronaut that eats fries. I don't know why anything that has to do with space has to have that echoey version. It's the Space Center program outside Houston. I don't know why they say it's in Houston. It's like 30 miles from downtown Houston. That guy was weathered and tired from walking all the way to Houston thinking the space program was down there in Houston when really it's right over there. Luckily, he's got some fries and hopefully has some sort of beverage to quench his thirst and to hydrate himself. Speaking of hydrating myself, I could really use a drink. I should have stopped off in that Mickey D's and got myself a beverage to wet my whistle. But we're just gonna trudge on towards the Space Center without a beverage. Heck it, I can go without one. Can you, sir, vicariously? Are you drinking something right now, ma'am? If you are, what are you drinking? And I would like a taste of it. Give me a taste. Oh man, that was, that was pretty tasty. That was good. Stop in the name of space before you blast off. Stop in the name of, I don't know what I'm singing right now. Look at this, it's early. There's very few cars in the parking lot right here. We're not gonna be able to go inside because once again, time is a factor. We have a space shuttle, but we don't have a time machine. If we have a time machine, I could go back earlier in the morning, visit the amazing space center ahead of time. Unfortunately, we don't have much time. The hotel's right back there. We've got like a four or five hour drive today going to New Orleans, Orleans, today, playing a show tonight. I think it's like a six hour drive. The way we drive and stop, it probably end up being about 14 hours, but not really, somewhere around there. Anywhere between six and 14 hours, probably six and a half, seven. Who knows, because we stop a lot, we get a lot of beverages, we stop and eat lunch at restaurants and things like that. We have a little fellowship time. So sometimes the drives take a little bit longer than normal. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this. This. Whoa. I am excited about this. Ever since I was a kid, I always dreamt of space, the final frontier. Remember how Shatner always talked about this? I don't know if William Shatner's ever been out here. I'm sure at one time during the crazy Star Trek craze, he probably came out here and visited the Space Center, did some sort of promotional stuff, but he had nothing to do with those Apollos that went up into the air. Houston, we have a problem. William Shatner's not here. That was, the, that was their main problem. This guy's taking pictures right here. Look at this. People out here photographing the area. I don't know. He's, not, he's probably not doing a vlog. Look, he's hiding behind the sign now. He was trying to hide behind that sign and get out of the view of me and you, sir, but he can't get away because there he is right there. You can't get away, sir. You can't get away. You can take pictures, but you can't hide. Maybe he can run. He could probably run. He looks like a pretty fit and fiddle. Oh, there's a space shuttle over there. Yes, yes, yes. Space Center, Houston. 1601. You can Google this. This is a new thing that's fun to do on here. You can Google a satellite view. 1601. NASA Road 1, NASA Road 1, 1601. It's the Space Center, that's awesome. Oh yeah, okay, okay, I'm gonna shh, shh. Be quiet, man, I talk way too much. But I'm gonna keep talking anyway, I should be quiet. But it's hard to zip my lip when there's the excitement of space. You know what NASA 
stands for. If you have any idea what NASA really stands for, leave a comment down below about the... Don't Google it. Stop with the Googling. Just go with your mind Googling. Can your mind Google? And if your mind can... Ooh, we gotta watch out for the traffic. If your mind can Google correctly, leave a comment down below about what NASA means. Okay, we're walking. We're walking. We're walking right now towards this. That's the space shuttle right there. Look at that. Tom Hanks was in that, in that movie where he blasts. Wait a second. That's not the space shuttle. That over there is hidden by debris of trees and foliage. This is some sort of Tom Cruise. I, meant, I didn't mean to say Tom Cruise. I meant to say Tom Hanks. But Tom Cruise was in one of these. Similar to that in Top Gun. And speaking of flying, radio flyers, radio flyers. Man, there's a lot of movie references today. Radio flyers, Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise, NASA. That's awesome. All these people going by on their bikes are excited. Look at all these NASA folk. They're not even stopping. They're just cruising by at the speed of light and the speed of sound because that's how fast we go up into the atmosphere and they're going up into the atmosphere up to the highest spheres let's go fly a plane it's nasa shooting that way that is cool whoa they got some serious protection look at this whoa look are those electrical wires if i was to touch on touch those would that shock my finger I am not going to attempt that at all. In fact, I am frightened by the NASA security out here, so I am not going to touch that or jump over that. I am just going to look under the underbelly and the nether regions of these planes. What kind of planes are these? I have no earthly clue. I'm sure somebody out there knows what type of planes these are, and more importantly, what kind of a pod is this? What kind of a pod is this? Whoa. United States of America, NASA, N-A-S-A. -A. That is cool. And it actually has a pod holder. You know how there's pod holders and plate holders? Well, this is a NASA pod holder. Look at this. Made out of metal and steel. Hold it. From this angle, it looks kind of like a UFO, an unidentified flying object. But I'm going to identify it for you now. It's a NASA mobile. Look at that. Isn't that one of those items where it went underneath the water? The people were bubbled underneath the water after the shuttle hit the water? I'm not really sure. I need to do a little bit more research. Hopefully after this vlog, maybe I can talk the guys into coming out here, paying a few bucks, probably 10, 15, 20 dollars to do the tour inside the space center, the NASA space center. You can actually touch physically touch a moon rock. I'm going to touch this concrete if I don't get out of the way of this car. That car is going to level me into the cement. I want to touch a moon rock, not a cement NASA parking lot rock. Okay, here we go up here. Come on. More security. More security. Look at this. Security monitored video surveillance. But look at that. People are working on it right now. That's awesome. People are working on the space shuttle. A space shuttle. How many space shuttles were there? Are there? Are space shuttles, do they go extinct like the dinosaurs? Or do they just always sit on property? Look at this. Guarded by this row of hedges. I've got to get over this hedge ledging and get up close. Look at this. Whoa. How do I get in there? There's a row of hedges. What am I in? The Shining? My Jack Nicholson walking around? It is a little nippy out here, but I'm not going to freeze to death and get hypothermia like Jack Nicholson did in The Shining. Just to take a little peek at the space shuttle. Look at this. Yes. 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 That is cool. Have you guys ever been out here before? Have you, sir? Have you ever been out here to Houston, Texas, or should I say south of Houston, Texas, and visited this majestic property? If you have, 
I want to know what's in there. I'm going to read your comments and hopefully I can persuade the other gentlemen and gentlewomen that are traveling with our crew on tour to come out here later. If not later today, hopefully in a month or so when I'm on my way back from California, I come back through Houston and check out this whole area and go into there. There's a guy taking a selfie. He's taking a selfie right there of him, his vehicle, and a more important historical vehicle right yeah. Pretty cool. Check down below for my t-shirts. That's how I get to travel. If you want to help support the travels in these daily vlogs as well as my other channel, the Adam LeWu channel. Check down below adamlewu.spreadshirt.com. Also, if you want to get a hold of me on the social networks and talk to me personally, find out where I'm going to be, you can always get an updated... By looking down below at the social networks, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. All right, I'm gonna go back to that McDonald's. I'm gonna try to steal that astronaut's fries. Remember that astronaut that was holding those fries? I really like McDonald's fries, especially when you don't order anything else. I like just getting a large fry, maybe like a Coke, but don't get a burger. For some reason, if you get the fries by themselves, they taste majestic. So that astronaut, I'm coming for you, astronaut. Astronaut, I'm coming for your fries. I'm coming for your fries. Man, I always do that finger thing. It's the finger fry. It's the finger fry right here. I'm loving it. I'm loving that astronaut's fries.